Are they serious? And That's yeah. still in the store. Right. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm like, guys, like we're giving this to you for dirt cheap. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of my old furniture to bring it to the new energy and the new space. But people are really trying us right now. Yeah, if you're on offer up, like stop playing. Don't play yourself. You're wasting my time and it's very valuable. God. <sighs> Girl, you and me both. Speaking of wasting time, I'm not gonna waste any more of yours. It's me, Julissa. Are you guys really gonna watch? Are, you better watch. Well, they're watching. Okay, it's taken me so long to finally do this. I've been so nervous. I'm here. I know, it's, it's the first episode. It's a lot to ask from you, but if you could just subscribe, please. I'm trying to figure this out still. I've read your comments, I've read your DMs, all your messages, and I'm doing this. It's my new show. It's me, Julissa. That's J-U-L-I-S-S-A. Because sometimes I'll introduce myself and be like, Teresa or Julissa. It's Julissa Bermudez. That's Bermudez, or in English, Bermudez. B-E-R-M-U-D-E-Z. So if you know me and have been watching me, thank you and nice to see you. Now if you don't know me, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a TV personality, TV host, actress. You might have seen me hosting some of your favorite pop culture shows like Jersey Shore Reunions, 106 in Park. I've done The Hills Finale. I'm most recently as an actress was in the show Hunters with Al Pacino. Um, that was a really different role for me. If you watch, you know what I'm talking about. And now I'm here in my brand new house. Literally all this doesn't even belong to me except that baby picture. <laughs> That's me. Isn't she cute? Actually, a good amount of this stuff is still mine, but in the process of being sold because it's time for new beginnings. Actually, I'll show you guys a video on how I blessed my new surroundings and my new crib um, because that's just like Latino 101. This is the new home blessing ritual setup. So you've got incense. This is the carbon that goes in here that you burn with the incense. This is Apollo Salto stick. And this is sage and the Abre Camino, a buena suerte, which means open road and good luck. The incense is burning. You're gonna Basically hit every corner of your house. Clear the air, make way for some new blessings. So I'm originally from Queens, New York. I was born in Dominican Republic, but raised in New York. I basically was hustling in New York. I was auditioning, hosting shows. Got a chance to do a show with one of my best friends, Adrian Bailon Houghton. That show obviously was true and really dear to my heart. Unfortunately, Style Network went away. So did our show. Once that wrapped, my parents decided that they were gonna retire and go back to Santo Domingo, the Dominican Republic, where I was born. And I thought to myself, you know what, I'm always constantly dreaming about working in Hollywood. My friends kept telling me, you should just make the move, make the move. But it was so scary because New York was the only thing I knew, it was so familiar. Again, that's where all my family is at. I thought to myself, you only live once. If I wanna work in Hollywood, I gotta be in Hollywood. My parents were pretty supportive of me moving out here, gave me their blessing. Obviously, they have their ideas of what Hollywood is like because of all the stereotypes. They hit me with one of these and send me on my way. Obviously, I keep in touch with them. My dad owns a cell phone. My mom barely knows how to turn on a cell phone, let alone do any video calling. Don't get it twisted. It's not like I haven't seen my parents in eight years. Of course I have. I just always go to them. They've yet to come visit me, but I 
think they're gonna make their way out here. So you guys just gotta watch. Once my parents were leaving New York, that's when I decided to make the move and come out to Hollywood. That's where I've been the past eight years. I just settled in apartments that to me were amazing. I mean, compared to living in New York City apartments, I had a pool in my last place. I could actually see the Hollywood Hills, so it felt so attainable. I would see these beautiful homes. The energy there was good. I think it did me right. I, I definitely feel like my time expired there. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. What was your first job when you got to LA, do you remember? Ooh, that's a good question. Dang. Mm, I don't even remember what my first job was. Honestly, sometimes just hosting is, you you just get all the jobs mixed up because you're nonstop, you're going, going, going. I mean, I started hosting for Yahoo Celebrity. So I would wake up literally every morning at like 4 a.m. because when you're on the West Coast, you're three hours behind the East Coast. So that means you have to just wake up extra early. And then sometimes I'd have to also cover red carpets. So that would go into the nighttime. I will never forget live TV, someone turns off the teleprompter. I remember feeling like literally my intestines fell out of my butthole. I remember feeling that way. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm really trying to remember the very, very first job I even booked out here when I first moved here. That's terrible that I don't remember that. Honestly, half the time, I'm just so happy to be working. So from hosting, it kind of snowballed into being a beauty influencer, which to me is still kind of crazy because I grew up being such a tomboy, literally with three older brothers, and had to quickly learn, you know, sitting in makeup chairs, always figuring out tips and tricks and how I can get myself ready because you don't always have a budget. If they call you for a job last minute to cover a red carpet, you gotta be ready to go. You don't wanna say no to a job just because they can't provide hair and makeup. So you're definitely gonna get tutorials. I'll show you how I style my hair, how I get this glam, literally everything. Speaking of beauty, my baby, Republica. My very first beauty product. I've worked so hard on it. And I came to a crossroads where I thought, all right, I've worked this hard. I've saved this amount of money. In my mind, I'm thinking I can go and buy my dream home, my dream car. But instead, I decided to launch my own brand and my own product. It's in a really oversaturated space. The beauty world, literally a new brand launches every single day. And I thought to myself, well, I only get one shot at this. I wanna put all my hard work, investing everything I've made in front of the camera. Every dime that I've saved up has gone into launching my very first beauty product. It's really time to support small businesses more than ever, especially Latina-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses. We are really out here hustling and trying to put something great out there. In the comments, tag your brand. I want to check it out. Let this be a place where we can bounce ideas off each other, especially as entrepreneurs. I didn't think being an entrepreneur would be this tough. I didn't think I would learn some of the lessons that I'm learning. Wait, oh what just God. happened? Oh my God, oh my God. How the hell did we miss that? You know I have 10,000 of those boxes that are misspelled now, that are paid in full, that took almost a month to make. The amount of people that I literally had to ask about so many things. All my friends that are entrepreneurs, all my friends that have their own brands, their own products, I reached out to them, trying to figure out the right sourcing. This isn't something that a company came to me and offered me to do and just put my name on it. I actually didn't even want my name on it. I just wanted the brand to stand on its own. Signing the first 100 orders. I can't even believe that people care this much. I'm so glad that they do though. It's crazy, so much typing. I don't even know how to sign my own name anymore. I don't know how to sign them checks. Okay. This is Republica. It is a sugar body polish and it's amazing. I wish you guys could smell it through here, but you're gonna get it anyway, so it's fine. Another thing I'm gonna share on this show, which you're probably wondering like, she still can't be single. She's still single. She ain't married yet. She still don't have a kid. So I'm on the date. 
Literally, I cannot make this up. Midway bite through my salmon. He's like, so I have kids. I'm like, oh, that's fine. He's like, so I have six kids. And I said, wow, okay. And I said, but how many baby mamas? Six kids and five baby mamas. At the age of 30. Like, come on. Yeah, but I'll let you know why. And I know some of you are still single too and have also followed some of my journey and my not so love stories. So we're in this together. One of the things that I absolutely loved doing and just getting better at is cooking. One of my favorite people in the kitchen, my Thea Carmen. She lives in Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna be visiting her. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen some of her recipes. You DM me about them all the time, so you're gonna see a lot more. And I'm also gonna show you that I can, you know, dibble and dabble in the kitchen too. Doing a little Dominican brunch at the crib. There's some yuca. You know you gotta have the mango. And then little queso frito, a little sachichon that Friday, onions, you know, let's go say, moving day. Ooh, now I got it. I've actually moved into a house. I felt like it was time. I've worked so, so hard and been saving as much as I can. And it's actually motivating me to work even harder. This just happened to be in the freezer. So we're trying to make rosé out of it. You know how you make lemonade out of lemons? Same concept. It's so crazy. Like, I don't know what I was thinking to try to do it all at the same time. Literally launching the Publica, moving, still auditioning for other things. And yeah, but it's happening. It's the perfect time to just level up on all fronts. I'm literally moving on up. I want to show you the before, the in-between, all the details on the final look of this house. This is definitely a whole new level. This is my space and I cannot wait to transform it in front of your eyes. My friend Nikki Chu, who some of you may know, she is absolutely fabulous when it comes to product and interior designing. So I am going to literally have to kidnap her from Dallas, Texas, bring her here so she can be sequestered and literally do every detail in this house. No, I think she's only agreed to do my office, but I'll take it. She's so busy and I cannot wait to show you guys how she transforms that office space. So now that you know where I'm at currently in my life, literally just moved into a brand new house. I am launching a brand new product. I'm still going on auditions and this is my brand new show. I want to know what else do you want to see? Fashion, fitness. If you already follow me on Instagram, you know I love doing tutorials. Who do you want to see on my show? You know I know a couple people. Comment below. My girl, Adrienne Bailon Houghton, she is back in LA. She stopped by to see my new house and tell me what she's got going on. If that was a lot, whew, I guess I do talk a lot. <laughs> but I'm so excited that all of you are watching and that you're gonna be on this journey with me. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. I think I just got through my first episode. Yeah, thank you for watching. It's me, Julissa.